So would you like some ideas for all your photos, albums, and how to make those into special gifts? Well, in today's video, we're gonna go over all of that. What to do with your photos, albums, what to take to a wedding shower, a baby shower, and even decorations for a baby shower. Can't wait to share it with you. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I wanna thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative, and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. And you know I'm over 70, I say it, because if I can do these things, I know you can do them too, at any age. Thank you to my wonderful subscribers. Each and every one of you means so much to me. You've really become like family to me. And I just so appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos and leave me the best comments ever. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. You don't want to miss any of these summertime videos with a different theme every month. And if you like this one, please give me a thumbs up and then I know you like the video. So we're gonna be talking about displaying photos, making gifts out of these photos, putting together family albums, putting together albums as gifts. There's, this is really, there's nothing more personal and meaningful. I've done quite a few of these and the people just love them. Whether it's a wedding gift, a baby gift, um, and this month is all about family celebrations. So I have to talk a little bit about babies cute little things and I'm, I've got the most adorable things to show you especially if you're going to be involved in doing any kind of a baby shower or even going to a shower and you know you want ideas for cards bags tags decor whatever so without further ado I cleaned off my coffee table and I've got all my little goodies lined up to show you that you can make and you can craft and they're always on a budget always you know I'm a little on the cheap side <laughs> <laughs> but that's good these days. <laughs> anyway, I hope you love it. I hope you get inspired and make some of these for a special celebration. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye. So here are some ideas for photos, whether this is for display for yourself or gifts. Um, one thing I like to do is I like to use these clipboards because I can actually clip on photos. That's a picture of my parents and me and my brother in the 50s, and I can change them out. Um, so I'm always having kind of a rotating situation with different pictures. Here's a picture of my parents with me. I think my mom's pregnant. Um, and what you can do with a photo like this is copy it on vellum paper. It's like see-through paper and just tape it to an LED candle and the light shines through. It is really, really beautiful. Now you can make these as fancy as you want to. That's actually a greeting card with a couple of put on top of it or as simple as you want to. It all works. Now, a little diorama is a really cute gift. So you can make these 3D. This is just a Dollar Tree little box on a Dollar Tree candlestick. Here's one same little box with my mother's grandfather and he's smoking a pipe. So I put a little pipe in there, but you could do a whole little diorama as a gift. For a desk, how cute would this be? It's a little Dollar Tree terrarium with a mother and daughter in the back there. So don't be afraid to cut your pictures out. Here's one I did that just was a small little photograph and I actually have, that's my mom and her mother sitting together and I can change those out as I want to and there's it's safe under the magnifying glass. So these are some of the things you can do with photos. Now I want to talk about albums for a minute. The idea of an album as a gift is this. I buy these plain albums and I take a 12 by 12 paper that coordinates with the color of the album or you could actually cover it with other paper. And Hobby Lobby has these adorable pages. Now they're made to be filled in with dates or information. You could put pictures, invitations, whatever you want. This is one of my parents' um, albums here. This is when they first dated. And then the other one from Hobby Lobby is this one, which I have right in the book right here, which would make a beautiful cover. Now, can you imagine if you were getting married to have a, your invitation to the wedding and have pictures of the bride and groom 
and have this the cover of your actual album and then fill it full with scrapbook paper. So all they have to do is just put pictures in it. That is such a beautiful, personal, personal gift. And um, this was my parents on their honeymoon. They were real nice looking couple. But I wanted to show you this. My parents kept everything. And this was our first house we lived in. And look how much they cost. Isn't this hilarious? And there's my mom pregnant with me standing in front of our house here, which I thought was cute. But And then, then the people can just fill it up. So I think... An album is a beautiful gift, whether it's a, um, a family album, whether it's a wedding, or whether it's uh, for a birthday party. But I want to show you what makes a beautiful baby gift. I took a 12 by 12 paper, cut out, enlarged my pattern, one of my baby buggies, put lace on it. Let's, we're pretending her name is going to be Lily. Can you imagine a new mother getting this with the baby's name on it? And if you have a picture of the baby, you can actually put them peeking out. And then the whole album filled with beautiful girly paper. That is the most beautiful gift you can give a new mother. And speaking of babies, whether you're going to a baby shower or maybe throwing one, let's take a look at some ideas for that. Okay, it's all about the babies. <laughs> especially baby girls. I have one little thing for a baby boy, but you can make this any way you want to. Um, but I did a shabby chic pink and brown baby shower for my daughter-in-law's sister when she had her little baby. And uh, it was country French, so cute. So I wanna show you just some of the stuff I made. So I made this table runner, it's really long because what I decorated was their gigantic dining room table with two chandeliers. So what I did is I made all these adorable little girl dresses, and here's a little pantsuit, out of the same fabrics. See this French writing and the toile? I used those fabrics with accents of pink, and I had draped um, clothesline with very fancy clothespins, and I had these little dresses all across the table. It was so, so adorable. So I want to show you how easy this is. It's so much easier to make like a, I guess you call this a one-dimensional dress. <laughs> so here is my little pattern that I used. So I always say make a pattern that way when you cut all these out they all match. So you can see here I just use paper and just kind of um, made this little sleeveless dress here. This is my pattern for this little dress. And I made the same pattern for this dress but you can see I added little sleeves to it. Then I just made a little pattern that was the collar. So I could do that in separate fabric. And then I made the little pockets. And I made them double-sided because the table, you could see the dresses from both sides. So on the back, I put three little buttons and it's a girl. Now this other one here is a little sleeveless dress. And you can see, well, you can see I have pins in these because I had them pinned up. I made little flowers and rickrack coming from the little flowers. I made like a little apron on the front of the dress. Okay, let's get to some of these little things you can make now if you're going to a baby shower. Now, this is a little pattern I made for a onesie. So with that, look at this adorable little boy's onesie I made. Oh my gosh. So I have a bow punch and I have, I just used a regular paper hole punch for the little buttons on there and I just banded it in some different fabric. So that would make an adorable tag. You could also put it on a bag. Um, you can see here, so adorable. And then I made one for the little girl. Again, these tiny, tiny little trims I have. Michaels used to sell these all the time. And I used it to edge it. And then I did buttons out of paper and a bow out of paper. So they're so adorable. Now let's go over to this side here. And you saw this when I showed you my barbecue for Father's Day. Well, that same pattern makes this adorable little baby buggy that you saw on my album cover for a baby just a few minutes ago. It just looks so cute. Now, 
I want to show you one other thing. So I made a dress. So this is a dress very similar to this larger dress here. And you can see how cute this is. This is out of little tiny paper with little tiny roses. I did a bow. I did one of these little flowers from one of my trim, some more trim. So cute. So where are you going to use this? You can use it on a gift bag. This could be the front of a card. I also made these little booties. That didn't even take a pattern. Just like little Christmas stockings, only little booties and trim them. How cute does that look there? Or again, put the onesie on there. Or over here, put the baby buggy on and you can see how cute. And I just put lace and twine and these are my you know scrap roses that I make I just made a whole pile of them you can make adorable things for baby whether you're going to a baby shower or hosting one as always I hope you love this I hope you got inspired and I'm going to see you in the next video bye